Oh. Jesus. Oh. Are we on? Yes, we're on. <laughs> we're on. Hello, Hello. Mercy Hello. people. Just having a nice cup of tea. And welcome oh. to another vlog. Um, if there's anyone out there who um, makes um, garden furniture, in particular seats, Oh yeah, we need a couple of new ones. <laughs> We're willing, you can send them to us and we'll review them for you. Because <laughs> we're in dire need for allotment seats at the moment. Um, I'm right down here. I'm and the I'm, little man. I'm well elevated above you, Phil. And you're, you've always been above me, Cal. So... Is it cold down there? Pretty much cold. <laughs> so what are we chatting about this evening? Yeah, we're going to have a, an allotment chat. Because it's just before dusk, isn't it? So yeah, just before the light goes. It's getting cool. Um, it's um, the 2nd of April and um, it's um, it's going very well. Well, we've done quite a bit today. We've got more King Edwards in. Well, I did. Yes, you did. You got fruit bushes in at the back. Yeah. Um, we got wormwood in around at the front in the yep. apothecary garden by the pond. We're developing a little... Um, and some salad burnet fruit area at the mm. back, aren't we? You've got some and gooseberries yeah, the as apothecary well. garden's going well. We're mm. getting stuff in there. Because wormwood is best planted away from edibles, yeah. really. We're not going to give you a tour, by the way, because we can't be bothered. Too tired. <laughs> so we just talk about stuff generally. No, you had an idea, didn't you, about the seasons? Elaborate. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, I don't know whether I want to talk about that now. Why not? I've changed my mind a bit. Oh, right, OK. Well, I was all for the... Uh, going on about the astronomical seasons, about the equinox and the solstice and how... do oh, forget it then. <laughs> Go on then. What are no, you talking um, about? Well, I was going to talk about, about the seasons. Yeah, um, what I was thinking, I was thinking of making this into a philosophy chat. So we talk about philosophy and philosophy <laughs> of gardening. Mm. And I've, for ages I've been wondering about the seasons and um, it, it's been going over in my little mind about the seasons mm. and whether they really exist or not. I don't think they exist, you see. You don't? No, I don't think the seasons actually exist. And it's a, it's a man-made thing, a theory about, you know, um, just to fill in dates of the calendar. Mm. It's a bit like, um, you know, you get Mother's Day and then you get Easter and then you get the summer holidays and then you get bonfire night and then you get Christmas. You missed out Halloween. And all of them, all of them things. Well, they're not, they're not anything, are they? They're just man-made things. And the seasons are a bit like that. They're man-made things because I don't think the plants or nature take well, any na notice of the seasons. Nature doesn't work to a calendar, but it does work to shifts in temperature. So what are the seasons? I know we're in the spring now, right? right we well, call it the spring, don't we? You see, I don't, I don't view it like that the way you do but oh, I do view it in the fact that you know I, I, I don't believe that mother nature works to a calendar exactly right. what you've just been saying but right. there is a shift in in seasons as in um mainly predicted and influenced by climate change because what I've noticed is that the spring is far earlier than it used to be so spring comes into play much earlier. Yeah. The summers are much longer. Mm. And this is in the UK. Um, the winters are nowhere near as cold when I was younger, when I was a child. The yeah, winters but do used the to seasons freezing. really exist? Do the plants really know what season it is? Because you often hear gardeners saying, oh, it's very unseasonal, it's very this and that, and the plants are coming up mm. all all the time. Well, I think... And the plants plants are growing all year round. But I think the they plants... They never stop growing. The plants are very determined by shifts in temperature. That's So as soon as the weather, the warmer weather and comes... And light levels. And light levels. And we need frost for certain bulbs to, to mature, mm. you know. Um, so, yeah, light levels and temperatures... They're the triggers, aren't they? They're the triggers, yeah. So and, yeah, and, and there are, if they go I, out of I play... I suppose what you call seasonal triggers. Yes, yeah, but if the triggers are off right. kilter, then you're going to get, you know, you're, you're going to get bulbs that don't flower <coughs> when they should. 
you're going to get late or early flowering. What's wrong with you for? You joking? Go on, carry on. <coughs> you're Can't making talk. me choke on me words. <laughs> That's the wormwood. <laughs> <laughs> it's warded off evil spirits. You know what? This... No, but it's that's it though, isn't it? If it's <clears> a, if it's a late if it's a late spring, then it's detriment on pollinators. Mm. You know, pollinators rely on the changes in temperatures. Yeah. You know, the, the beginning of our flowering seasons and our crops and seedlings and everything relies on that change in temperature. So there's <clears> got to <throat> be there is a seasonal change. Well, yeah, but. You know, we split it into four sections, don't yeah. we? Spring, we call it summer, spring, autumn, winter. Summer, autumn, winter. Mm. And that's more to do with the calendar dates, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose, yeah. So, if you go back thousands of years, I mean, I don't think, I don't think any uh, uh, farmers or um, gardeners back in the Stone Age had, had seasons. No. That they had... Um, they relied on the changes, they what they saw. They relied on the... The yeah. stars, more more or less, isn't it? Mm. I mean, it's this thing about people are now um, gardening by the moon, aren't they? Mm. Is there anything in that? I think there's something in that. Yeah. I think there's something in that. You know, there are some plants that actually, um, um, they, you know, like the tide that comes in mm. and out, mm. and the moon um affects the gravity on earth and, mm. and the um the pressure yeah, i mean there is something in the that. earth pressure yeah and then you get you get things like um beetroot mm. that has rings mm. when you plant by the moon it has certain rings and them rings correlate with high tide low, tide, low tide high tide low yeah. tide you know because we're about 70 percent or 80 percent water all mm. of us mm. and and maybe it's it's more to do with that, with the moon than it is to, to do, do with, with the, the seasons. seasons. Yeah. And that then or pressures, do you think it could be a combination of cosmic pressures on us? Mm. Um, you know that it, it can be. Do you think it could be a combination of that? Because the temperatures do need to warm as well. Yeah. Because you know what, you can you can have a perfect season and you can pick the same plant year on year. And, and have almost identical seasons and you could fail one year and, and do succeed the fantastically next, yeah. the next. Mm. And maybe it's more to do with a gravitational pull of the planets mm. and the and stuff like that. Mm. Maybe that's um, it might be a more, more accurate way of describing that it's a cosmic thing that's going on. But are you, are you I know so this is all philosophical, by the way. We're talking about phil philosophy here. Can I just get, can I get a word Kath. in? If, if we can, can get many words in, Kath, here. <laughs> no, what I'm it's thinking is... It's a free is, country here, Kath. Is, is it that we we've moved... Russia. Is it that... Go is on. it that we've moved away from that, like you said, away My from that? My tea's going cold, talking to you. Is it that we've moved away from that? I think you've moved away from a lot of things. <laughs> You, now this you move, has got you, you right, try and you've got move to away stop it from now. me as much as you can. <laughs> now is it is it that is it that we've we've lost that identity and we're now obviously more as we see advanced in our techniques. Are we advanced? But whether they are or not, I don't know. No, I don't. No. No. Mm. Yeah. But the seasons are an odd one. I've always uh, struggled with it. Remember mm. that time when we were down on the allotments, right? This is a, a prime example. Wait, down on, because uh, I'm further away from the camera than you. <laughs> Get an earache. I need to shout. <laughs> I'm getting I a full earache. I need to get my message across. I'm smaller than you. Look at me. I'm right down here. I need, we need new chairs. What little Listen, man syndrome? <laughs> don't, <laughs> that's not funny, Kath. Oh, it is for that's me. It's not funny. It's on camera, and we caught that. <laughs> Our viewers laughing at you. They'll probably agree. The thing with is, <laughs> the thing is, we were down on the allotments a good few years ago. What happened? You mean when tell we me had... what happened, Kath? Well, there's lots of things that happened. No, tell me what happened Which a few one? years ago. It, it, it's so memorable. What happened? Oh, do you mean when the bees went to sleep? Yeah. Mm. The bees well, went we had to sleep. the, the what eclipse. Happened? The eclipse. Yeah. The eclipse of the sun. Mm. It was a partial oh, eclipse, it's amazing. but it's about three quarters, and the bees went to sleep on the plants. Yeah. And then you get the half crescent shadows. Mm. And you could actually stroke the backs. And you could stroke yeah. the backs of the bees. We did, didn't we? Well, I did. What's that got to do with the seasons? Mm. 
it hasn't got anything but it's got a lot to do with cosmology and the stars and the yeah, sun that's true. and the yeah. moon and the mm. stuff like that mm. you know i mean if we get hit by a, a cosmic ray from the sun does that does that affect the plants i think it would do i think it, it would yeah 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 very much so so the seasons it's a man-made thing really mm. it doesn't really exist does it mm. so the what plants so... are more Plant some more. So, also, so what about the astronomical seasons where you tie into the um, summer solstice and the winter solstice and the mm. spring and autumn equinox? Mm. What's your view on that? Well, they're just dates in the calendar, the calendar again. Yeah. I don't. I don't think plants actually react to things like mm. that. They do to light levels, though. Mm. You know, mm. they do. They do t to light levels. Like yeah. uh, when when you get an eclipse of the sun, the, the plants close up. Yes. For that time, they do, yeah. That's so they, true. It, it, they, they think it's night, mm. and then they open again. Mm. And when you go under artificial lights and stuff like that, you're actually manipulating the yeah, seasons again, aren't you? Yeah, we've just done a little experiment, haven't we, with tomatillos? One yes, we was have. grown in a hydroponic setting, yep. in an area garden that's generated by purely by water and gentle heat, mm. and the other one was just grown under some. Um, LED lights, yep. just in soil, mm. and the one from the hydroponics is huge, mm. and the other one is is just really small, yeah. and they were both planted at the both zone at the same time. Yeah, man has the ability now to manipulate the seasons. Mm. We can plant right through the summer in hot houses and uh, right in the winter, sorry, in hot, hot houses, houses yeah. and have uh, fruits and vegetables right throughout the year. Mm. Can't we? Mm. We manipulate things, don't we? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, I don't even, don't think whether that's always for the good no. either. Do you? Um, I mean, I, I'm not keen on growing stuff in polytunnels, to be quite honest. No. I'd rather just. Grow See, gardeners naturally. have always done that, haven't they? Mm. Change know, the way we, we do if things. If you go back into yeah. uh, prehistory and the, uh, the the hanging gardens of Babylon and, and stuff like that mm. and there were pr uh, primitive ways of, of like heating the ground and with underground springs and stuff yeah. and, and making even them um, 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 basic like greenhouse effects mm. you know and stuff mm. like that and um, that's what yeah you know mm. so we've always done that haven't we We've yes. always tried to change. But I think that's our downfall as a species, that we're always trying to reinvent the wheel in mm. some way. Mm. And it doesn't always go in our favour. No. Does it? No, it doesn't. Mm. So, what do you think about the seasons? Apart from spring, summer, autumn and winter. I know, it's going dark <laughs> now. You I still see us. It's going cold. <laughs> Freezing. We left this chat a bit late, didn't we? But we isn't the late, light but... beautiful? It's lovely at that. This it's time. actually really quiet here now, and yeah, it is. Uh, one of the last allotment holders has just left, haven't they? Not so yeah. long ago. Yeah. And uh, it's gorgeous. All the blossoms coming on the trees. Yeah, it's lovely. The light levels all. It is a lovely time of the year, spring, isn't it? Are you calling it spring? <laughs> I'm calling it spring. It's an artificial title. It's not really spring. So it's what just, would what would be the alternative season. reference then? I don't know, but if you didn't have a if calendar, you have if you didn't have mm. any any reference, you'd you'd be um, you'd go by the sun and the moon, wouldn't that you? That would be like, it. Yeah. That's how for thousands and thousands, probably millions of years, mankind has gardened and uh, cropped things by the oh, sun crazy, and the moon yeah. and the stars, and mm. and that's how he's known when mm. to put things in the ground. And when not to. And when not to. And yeah. you know, people who are really in touch with nature, they mm. don't need to be told what time of year it is, whether it's the first uh, of mm. April or the first mm. of March or whenever. Yeah. They don't have to. Kn they no, know instinctively true. by looking at things in nature. Mm. That's how. And you can find you your indicators. What time of year it from is. That, can't you? You don't need a clock, mm. you don't need a calendar to tell you this is the mm. equinox or this mm. is the shortest day, the longest day. You mm. just get a feel for, yeah, for when it the natural rhythm yeah. of life on mm. Earth. Mm. And I think that's what gardeners have Do always you, done. We have, but still we, we live within those other restraints, don't we? Because we all have to work, we have to do other things, mm. and it's all dictated by time mm. and calendars and dates. Mm. So for for people to try and revert back to our 
primeval ways of mm. gardening, I suppose, mm. I, I would find that could be quite Tricky. challenging. Yeah. yeah. And even if you're thinking about farmers on a large scale, for them, it mm. would be hugely challenging. Mm. I suppose it would. Mm. Yeah. You can learn a lot from farmers, can't you? Mm. If you go down a country lane and, mm. and you can see what they're doing and yeah. and how they're doing stuff. Mm. And they, they, they sort of like, they they do things um, they, as a, as amateur gardeners as we are. Yeah. They you can pick up a lot of mm. um, a lot good of tips good from them. tips. You, you yeah. know when to feed mm. the earth and when mm. to. Because of course farmers are now more organically minded than they mm. used to be. Mm. You know, which is a great thing, isn't it? Mm. You know, mm. and there are incentives for that as well, and planting hedgerows and you know leaving land for wildflowers and, and various yep. things to attract more pollinators in mm. i mean and there are incentives for them to do that but mm. you know that should have been the way it was all the time really yeah it should be mm. yeah same with allotments you, you don't have to you know you don't have to to plant every little inch of your allotment you need pollinators you need flowers you need wildflower areas you know you need mm. places where um, the wildlife can find seclusion and safety and, you know, um, it doesn't have to be farmed to the hilt. You do. You don't want to farm it to the hilt. And that's a good advice from Mersey Beat Gardening. Do not farm, farm to, it the, to the, hilt. the hilt. No, because but Because you do. know what happens then, yeah. don't you? I mean, we are only, we're, we're just tenants, you know, the, the wildlife I tenants. see are, are more important than us being here. Of course. You know, we're just secondary to the We're mind. the scum of the earth really, aren't we? <laughs> the second rate scum of the earth. That's what we are. Well, in some Listen, places, yeah. I hope you tried our um, spaghetti um, growing challenge. Well, it wasn't a challenge, it was a um, what it was, was it? educational video on growing spaghetti. Mm. I hope you enjoyed that and you've tried it out. Give it a try. Oh yeah. Order your seeds, get in the ground. Remember, what are the put yields? them in pots. What are the yields expected oh, it, on them? It's, it's, it's very good. Yeah? It's very good. High croppers? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, if you if you plant by the moon, go mm. go and learn about moon planting. I'm not going to tell you how, how to do that. Maybe we should vlog it. How to what plant I, by what the moon. I also want to try as well, thought, thinking of the moon and, and planting by the moon or being guided by, by that, is... Do you know the, all the beautiful, like the the white hydrangeas you can get, and the white roses? And if you plant, oh, yeah. a, if you plant a lot of white foliage, white mm. and green foliage, or silvery foliage, and mm. uh, white budding flowers, mm. you will see them beautifully in at moonlight. night. Yeah, mm. or ju yeah, um, even more so, mm. the enhanced. The plants night. are suited With to the moon to, for the yeah. moon in in um, yeah for full moon. Yeah, effect. Yeah, there's so many there yeah, but, I mean, that you can tie into. Do you know what I really love? I want to research, research I love that a bit more. When, you, when it, the sun goes down and mm. we're here till late at night. Uh, you mean in the walking. summer months? Yeah, but even yeah. in the winter months yeah. we've had this, where we're walking around the plot and we can see our shadows. Oh, the, with the moonlight? The yeah. moon shadow. Yeah. We mm. are being followed by a moon shadow. That's what happens. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. That's a copyright strike there, Kaz. Copyright strike. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this um, <laughs> this little vlog and the plane going over. Easy chat. Um, if you have, then thanks a lot for watching. And um, I know we're, we've uh, actually reached over 7,000 subscribers. Woohoo! Which is incredible, isn't it? Fabulous. This time last year, we had 700 subscribers. My head's gone crazy, hasn't it? I don't know how that works, mm. but YouTube's a, a weird thing. It's the algorithms things. are a very strange commodity, aren't yeah. they? I mm. mean, it's great to have all them subscribers, but... Thank you very much, by the way. The most important subscriber is the one who's watching now. Well, that so one if viewer. you're watching now, thank you very much for watching, and we'll hopefully, we'll see you in the next vlog, which will be more interesting than this one. <laughs> we hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see you. It's going dark now, so we'll see you later. <laughs> okay, bye. bye. I can't get up. <gasps> oh.
can't get out of this chair. <laughs> oh my You've God. You've spilled all that tea all over. I know. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's terrible, isn't it? Oh, oh. fancy doing that. I'm having my cake. Has that gone off now? <laughs>